Welcome back. Today I wanted to go over some uh, knitted amigurumi books I recently purchased. Most of them, as you can see, are from the Anna Horotovic. I think that's how you pronounce it. And then I have two here from Sapchio Ishii. So let's go ahead and open them up. Tiny toys to knit. Here's what's inside this book. And then here's an introduction. Um, some knitting need to knows. Okay, so here's Kitty Cat, Teddy Bear, Rocket, Owls, Sheep, Dice. I think most of these are done with, yes, they're done with uh, DK yarn. And I'm not quite sure um, what needle she's using. They could be maybe one or two, size one or size two. I don't. I don't know. This is so cute. This is what Skittles, this is Skittles and Ball. So it's a uh, bowling pins and a bowling ball. Fish. Angel. Get to the end of the book here. Puppies. And clowns, the last one. Let's see what size of needles. She is recommending yarn size two. All the toys in this book are reused double pointed needles size two or UK 12. Um, and she also says uh, she also used a crochet hook, I think, to pick up some stitches. I think I'm not quite sure. So I would assume that's the same for this one. Many knitted charms, also by Sacho Ishii. Here's what's in this one. Different abbreviations. Uh, knitting needles. Uh, these ones use size 2 or 3, or UK size 12. Little beach house. Heart. Cat and mouse. Beach ball. Another sheep, booties, ice cream, dice. Dice are kind of popular. Red Riding Hood, socks, owl, strawberry, which you can also make an acorn. I thought that was cute. Macaroons, hat, star, airplane. I think that airplane is adorable. Fish, candy is cute. Little monkey, little mushrooms, and that's it. That's what's in this one. All right, teeny tiny mochi mochi by Anna Horotchevic. Horotchevic. That's what's on the back. Some of the Things you can make from this book. Okay, here's what's in this book. Preface. How tiny. Uh, she does have really great instructions, um, introductions to everything. So I would recommend starting off with one of her books. Stitching with the different yarn sizes look like. So this is the very first one I did. Let me show you. This is my very, very first knitted amigurumi. It's a chicken. And then because I'm having some tension issues, I tried again and much better. Much better. Okay. Um, let's see how many can I show here. I'm not giving anything away. Some monkeys. 
dinosaur. Eggs. Oh, by baked potato. Sorry, I love this little baked potato. She also uses DK yarn, and I believe she uses a size one, size one knitting needles. Oh no, wait, she's using super fine. So basically, you can use whatever yarn as long as you use the correct needle size. And she does recommend in the beginning going down one size or two. I've noticed going down two sizes works best for me. Caveman. It's so funny. Mailbox. And she has some holiday stuff in the back. How to use it. And then her basic knit stitch guide. So her intros and her um, appendices are really great. So here's her super scary mochi mochi. These are these are fun. And here's what's in this book. And then her introduction. Okay. Some of the things you can find in this. Let's see what can I show you? These bitty witches are so cute. Look at them. And then this guy transforms. Isn't that fun? Okay, this was like one of my favorites. These are little zombies in a little graveyard uh, cemetery. You can make the, and you can tuck them into their little uh, plots. Isn't that fun? There's some more. Where's the bees? These are killer bees. These are so funny. And then there's a really cool one, this one. So it's, in, you can do it inside out. So it's two monsters in one. That's fun. And then she has a create your own custom, oops. And then her resources in the back. This one's a little different. Adventures in Mochi Mochi Land. Camera's tilting, okay. So this one's a little different. It starts off with a story. And pretty much everything you see here, there are patterns for in the back. Cinnamon buns, the rabbit, the um, donut. Those lollipops are my absolute favorite. So then there's a whole story. There's an underwater. And she has all of these in the back. Um, does she have an index resources in the back? She does. She has a very basic knitting guide in the back. And then her usual um, introduction for like in the round. Uh, knitting Mochi Mochi 20 Super Cute Strange Designs. Here's what's in this one. This one comes with several different hairstyles. This is a bed bug. Those are so cute. I love this couch because it reminds me of the couch in um, The Hitchhiker's Guide. Then you can make those slippers. And then her little introduction. Okay. 
some creatures there. These are my absolute favorite, these little bed bugs. Look how cute they are. Um, random objects. Um, impractical wearables. Pocket protector, kind of like a scarf, a muff, and uh, slippers. And then she has a designer on knitted toy in the back. Oh, and there's a pencil. I like this pencil. Um, and then she has her basic knitting guide in the back too. Last but not least, the one I wanted. Huge and huggable mochi mochi. So she does her intro. Here's what's in here, this. Her intro. Because these are bigger, she does have uh, its own guide. Okay. The teddy bears. This one's fun. Giant toothpaste and toothbrush. The reason I got the book. Roland the Roly Poly. Oh, and then she has a um, Lupe. The Piñata. For a second, I forgot what that was called. And then she's got her her basics in the back. Uh, there are corrections to a couple of the patterns, so go ahead and go to um, let me see if the website's on here. Her Mochi Mochi Land website, and it has um, some of the um, corrections to some of the patterns and most of the corrections are actually for the uh, roly-poly so that's it that's what I have today thanks for watching and I will see you next time bye